we have my beautiful partner coming up now from San Francisco, and um, she's probably one of my favorite poets, so I'm pretty excited to hear her fucking lay it down. Thank you guys. We're, we're close to the end now, so I appreciate you staying with us. Please buy a bunch of booze and listen to my girl here lay it down. No one's really that tall. There we go. Okay, I am the last reader of the night. And so I wanted to do one thing before we keep going. I hope most people have a drink. I wanted a toast to Indie Press the way it should be. It should be broke and it should be discriminate and it should be funny. And I think that that's what we have here tonight. We have representatives from all the major presses that mean anything at this moment and that's not something to take for granted. Woo! Woo! So, so. I brought all of my poems to Jason's house and was totally prepared and then left them all there. So I'm reading from my blot, which is for sale in the back for three dollars. Alrighty. The first one is called Abstractish Sawdust in My Eyes. She's coming to pieces, falling on through power lines, landing on manhole covers, airbrushed car hoods like pieces of cake. The Virgin Mary come fuck me smiles behind a straggle of aorta. Arm knees hinge on the apex of trees. Birds nest in shards of hair and teeth find their way into jars of mayonnaise unattended. The sky is a crimson wash of knuckles and twisted remnants of scream vapors binded to the atoms of fatty aromas from the diner up the street. And he hangs her hand from his rear view like a rabbit's foot, fleshy nicotine fingers soon to be a petrified forest, acrylic leaves that never turn a shade past autumn red. The rats may have the rest of her, but above his dashboard swings the best of her. <laughs> And this one's called Fire. Just when you think you'll never love again, a seven foot tranny, or s tranny sexier than you motorboats your titties in front of seven mortified bank dealers. <laughs> if I say to you, time is a fishnet stocking and us is an orange sunk into the mesh, would you find me inevitable or only a challenge to resist? There is the we that is pure happenstance and there is the us that is pure intent. But fate is fickle, fickle and I am constantly milliseconds away from making the worst mistake of my life. Every finger that stretched when it should have contracted is covered in my own blood, is a cigarette left to burn while I went in for another drink. Hold on to what is yours, or another will, or no one will. All roads may lead to me, but some are longer than others, and in the meantime, I'm live bait for every man that covets breasts and forgiveness. <laughs> Such filth. My tongue is a flint scraped against your beard, and my legs a book of matches. Five cigarettes closing over your palm. Excuse me. <laughs> That's bad in the middle of a sexy poem, really. <laughs> I'll smoke your fingers to the filter and press their lipstick faces to the floor. Before you can save me from this never, I'll slip your lips <clears throat> and watch you bite off the end and stick it between the pages of poetry written well before we were sober. Id tells the am. There is no when, no stop, no over. Flame tells the spoon, spoon tells the needle, needle tells the arm. There is no when, no stop, no over. Air tells the tree, tree tells the paper, paper tells the pen. There is no when, no stop, no over. Woo! And one last one for Jason, because he requested it specifically. It's only because he's in it. <laughs> Not necessarily good either. <laughs> of course it is. It's called listing. A man who adores you is to be neglected, belittled, dismissed, and always made to feel as if his ability to bypass slack enthusiasm and perfect thighs, stage makeup, and TV dinners is sexist, condescending, and rude. Go fish. Hot guy wears a hat. Hot guy wears polyester. Is a narcissistic panty liner. Is a fetus murder suicide. Rationally, <clears throat> I can see myself straddling his chest, tightening a stocking around his neck, smoking with my left hand and monologuing. Rationally. Death has a price of sin, sin inherent at birth, birth a result of sin. Shrugging and rolling off his slack body as his eyes back into white, I can see a vagrant. 
making size 15 silly putty imprint of the pavement with his neck skin, arm T-rexed and flailing with goose pimpled envy. <laughs> Jealous, our victim gets to not have to breathe. A man worth his weight in tears must despise the crinkle of your nose, your freckles, any concern hatched in your uterus, and all evidence of organs inherently female you may personally prize. If he gives you diamonds but nothing to write about, clearly he is not the man for you. And that is it. Thank you very, very much for coming to our event at Molly Malone's. Thanks to JT who organized it, and to Jersey Mike the bartender, the boys at Gorilla Lit, yeah. and my partner Jason. Have a good night.